here from the state of Chiapas. We're in a city called Tuxla Gutierrez and this is our first time in Chiapas. We've never explored this uh, state of Mexico before and Chiapas is known for its beautiful nature. There's loads of like cool natural places to visit like uh, canyons and waterfalls so yeah that's one of the reasons we came here. There's a canyon here called Sumidero which we're going to visit right now and we thought it would be cheaper here because the canyon is right here. You can actually see it from the, the town but actually if you go to San Cristobal de las Casas which is like an hour away it's a lot cheaper from there so a lot of people usually do it from there we're gonna be paying 460 pesos per person and I think in San Cristobal de las Casas you can get it for around 250 to 300 pesos per person and that place is also a lot nicer this place is just like a modern city there doesn't seem to be much more to see Whereas that is one of the most beautiful places in Chiapas. So yeah, probably if you come in here, don't stay in Tuxla to do the tour. Just go straight to San Cristobal de las Casas. But we're just waiting to be picked up now. The tour is gonna pick us up in a van. And yeah, this place is supposed to be amazing. So we've arrived at the first stop, which is a viewpoint. So the guy said we've got about 10 minutes. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> we are so high. Wow, I didn't realize we were that high. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell from the GoPro, but yeah, we're insanely high right now. And we can still see the Tushla city over there. Yeah, just in the distance. So that's what I was saying. It was very close. I think to get here from the city, it was about what? 20, 20, 30 minutes mm -hmm. and we're gonna get three viewpoints, right? Yeah. That's one thing to keep in mind when booking the tour. Not all tours include the viewpoints. There's also gonna be the river cruise. So we're gonna go all the way down there mm -hmm. soon and uh, yeah, do a cruise on a boat. That's gonna be like two hours. And then there's also a nice little town on the river. So yeah, our tour includes all that. So now for the final viewpoint of the day. I still can't get over how high we are. It's crazy. Yeah, so all the way down there you can see a tiny little boat. That will be us soon in this video. Cruising all the way around there. It's gonna look crazy from down there. Yeah, it's gonna be just like a wall. Monster walls. Wall, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get a better view from this point. You can see the whole river down there. Buena, buena. Super cold, isn't it? Yeah, now yeah. that we're in the shade. Yeah, mm -hmm. icy cold wind.
And this goes to show how good the drone is in the wind because I sent it up there super windy and it still did okay. It was just hard because everything's so big so it's kind of hard to film or get far away. Everything kind of just kept looking the, the same all the time no matter where I'd go but yeah still awesome. Can't wait to get down there. Just getting some snacks here. What are these mini botaneras? <laughs> Got some funky music too. <laughs> but guys, just look how beautiful this place is. Amazing. This is almost like a lake, right? Yeah, I think it is. There's a how do you say it? A hydroelectric dam. Yeah, over there. <laughs> and Yeah, somewhere over there. I think we're gonna be going on one of these boats. Apparently it goes really fast. Ready? So we didn't need to go to the store back there because they have one right here on the river. <laughs> the, the river store. Check out the size of this place. These things are huge. Almost reminds me of like El Nido. Yeah. Without the beautiful water. Yeah, the difference, yeah. So apparently there would normally be a waterfalls here. I think this part here. But we're in the dry season, so yeah, there's no water at the moment like a vertical drop looks cool though right yeah it's like a, in a different shape like this. Yeah, it looks bizarre all right time to enter one of the caves so the guy at the back, he is like a guide as well, but we can't really hear him from here and he speaks in Spanish. This is probably one of the fastest speedboats we've been on, right? Yeah, it's not comfortable when he's going too fast. Yeah, he's testing the stabilization of the GoPro. If the images are good, then the GoPro is good.
for some crocodiles I think or monkeys apparently they're around this area somewhere out here so there's the crocodile you can barely see him right there where? oh yeah there's a big one look at the size of that guy yeah it's a big one He's got his mouth open Oh wow, that's a huge one. No, he's gone underwater. That's not a good thing, is it? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> he's just gonna pop up here or something. Now we're at the final stop of the tour, which is actually uh, Pueblo Magico, a little town right on the river, which is cool. It's called uh, Chiapa de Corzo. It's also really tiny, so we've only got an hour and a half here, and we also need to eat. So yeah, hopefully we can eat somewhere pretty quickly, like in half an hour, and then we'll have an hour to walk around. And we're right in the center, and check this out. There's this like cool monument. I haven't seen anything like that in Mexico so far. So, I'm not sure what it is. Got some really noisy birds as well, right? Yeah, I think they're here and there. Yeah, super noisy. <laughs> and fireworks. fireworks. Okay. Oh, scared birds. <laughs> <laughs> so, this square also has a bell tower, which also looks Nothing like something Mexican at all. Bizarre. Yeah, this is a different kind of Pueblo Magico. Yeah, I don't know what the history about it, but it looks different. Yeah, so far. found a local spot as usual to eat at, always affordable food. Carol got the same as always, which is the breaded fish. Yeah, fish fillet, and this one was 90 pesos. 90? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got some quesadillas, which I think is around 50 pesos for three. And these are yours, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this time I got the healthier option, not like Carol. I got horchata. Not sure how much that is. I think it's healthier than Coke anyway. It is. <laughs> so this place has loads of souvenir shops. Literally souvenir shops everywhere. Yeah, beautiful designs here. Check out this doorway as well. I think this is like, what, the grounds of a church? It yeah. seems to be a church. Yeah. Big one. Yeah, huge church. Check that out. I like the doorway though. It must be some old doorway. We really don't know anything about this town at all. The guy was uh, telling everybody some stuff, but we were sat way at the back of the van. And uh, yeah, once again, he was speaking in Spanish, so we couldn't really hear anything he said. I think he did say though that it's 500 years old. So I think he said that, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the place. So the name is on the front, it's Templo de Santo Domingo. Beautiful one though. 
one of the most beautiful ones we've seen probably on this trip. Looks like they're reforming it. So this is the river part that we arrived on. Loads of boats here, check out all these boats. And then the area over here has like loads of restaurants and stuff. A funny thing happened when we arrived on our boat. So all the vendors harassed all the Mexicans, but nobody came to talk to me and Carol. We thought we were gonna get harassed and not a single person tried to sell us anything, but all the Mexicans, they wouldn't leave them alone. So yeah, that's strange, never, never happened before. I'm not sure what, why it was like that. Oh, is the funky Mexican music yeah. everywhere? Yeah. They just have random loudspeakers, right? Yeah. I, I think they think everybody wants to listen to their music. You're trying to say you don't want to listen to it? But in Brazil it's the same, so I, I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. back at the apartment now and as usual I'll just show you the place that we stay in so this is $22 a night which I think is the cheapest apartment that we've stayed at in Mexico we stayed at a beach hut for like $14 but an actual apartment I don't think we've ever got it for lower than $22 before so it has a balcony which is pretty funny because you just get this wall view pretty much but yeah at least we got a balcony and then this is like the seating area and as usual it's just all one room like the kitchen and living room joined together that's how it's been in a lot of these uh more affordable apartments we have this desk here that we can work at or eat and then through here is the simple bathroom and then last but not least is the bedroom so we have one small double bed single bed We've been sleeping separate a lot, right? Because the beds are kind of small. Too small, yeah. Yeah. Look at this, it's just my size. <laughs> and I got the, the, the bigger one. Yeah, the queen. <laughs> I think in general, this uh, state, Chiapas, from the prices that we've been seeing, it seems to be cheaper than like Oaxaca and obviously the Riviera Maya. So yeah, it has been a lot more affordable here so far. And what a awesome day to start off um, our adventure here in Chiapas. We're only gonna be here for two weeks, but we are planning on visiting quite a lot of places. So yeah, there should be some awesome videos and we're looking forward, especially to the waterfalls. There's some insane, uh, beautiful waterfalls here. So yeah, all that's coming up. And tomorrow we're gonna be heading to San Cristobal de las Casas, which I think is only an hour from here. So pretty close. So that will be the next video. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, just drop a like as always to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you around